Honey is a popular and widespread product in Ethiopia. The production of high quality honey requires several key ingredients. These include flowers, beehives, but most of all, bees, bees and more bees. Because without bees, there is no honey. <laughs> Bure was one of the districts selected in Amhara region to develop commercial apiculture. The Amhara Regional Bureau of Agriculture and Rural Development mobilised local, private wood processing workshops to manufacture many modern beehives. Buri district farmers received about 3,500 modern beehives and the required honey extraction equipment on credit. Traditionally, farmers catch absconding colonies and sell them on the local market. However, this method does not satisfy the demand for all the new beehives. Bee colony marketing has become a seasonal income generating activity for the rural community. Therefore, the IPMS project embarked on training farmers, development agents and Warada beekeeping technicians on queen rearing and bee colony multiplication techniques. <laughs> Initial results after the provision of training are promising. Trained farmers and development agents are applying their newly acquired skills to multiply bee colonies. However, many trained farmers are also sharing their colony splitting knowledge with their neighbours, which will soon result in increased number of colonies on the local market. <laughs> Kalau <laughs> <laughs> 
ዙር አርሷ ድራውን ሰሞኑ ሁሲ ከፈላቸው ነው ሰነበት ግማሽ እኩል ያረገው ያው ግማሽ ይሆን ነው ትንሽ ምትባሊቱ ሁለትኛ አንደኛ ቸገር ያለበሰች ነው እና ትንሽ እና ብዙም ይባል ብዛት ያለው ያ አመት ሰብል ይሰጣል አነስተኛው ሰብል አይሰጥም ነው ይከርናል እንጂ The sale of bee colonies is an important seasonal business for some farmers. These farmers bring colonies for sale to one of the local markets in Bure two days a week from September through to November. Farmers from neighboring districts come to Bure to buy these colonies. On average, 300 bee colonies are supplied every week. The price of a bee colony in the area can be as high as 200 per. Therefore, colony splitting creates opportunities for farmers. That is, you need to know. But I'm not coming. I'm not coming. Hey, hey, don't you think I'm not in your cafe? Oh, hey, no, I'm not coming. 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 ወጋቸው ከ60 እስከ 150 ድረስ ነው የሚሸጥ እዚህ ያለ። አሁን سنጠይቅ ዝክተኛውን ወደ 60 ምናምን አላት ከፍተኛ 150 ነው የሚጠጣው። ልጅነታቸው አሁን ከፍተኛ ንቡ አሁን ለምሳሌ ወደዚ ይገፋል በዛ ያለው 150 ነው ዝክተኛው ደግሞ አሁን ያሁን ግባ ማለት ጠንካራና ደካማ ነው ማለት በዛ ነው የሚለየው እንጂ ሌላ አይደል እንደገና ደግሞ አሁን ይባላል ሌላ ደግሞ በዚህ ቦቆ ጣቦ ምናም ይባል ነገር አለ ንብ እንት በርሃ ያለበት ማለት ከዚያ አካይብ ነው ቀፎን ይወሰዱ ያው እየሰቀሉ ማለት ያ ተራቀሙ ያመጣሉ ሌላ ምዘው ባካይ ነጋዴዎች አሉ አሁን ሚያመጥ ወደዚ ለምሳሌ ቁጭ ገበያ ይባላል ከዚያ ከቁጭም ገስተው ለምሳሌ ሚያገቡ እንት ንብ ሚያ እንት ሚያንቡ ሰዎች ማለት ቁጭ ገበያ ላይ አመጥተው ይሸጣሉ እንደዚህ ነጋዴዎች ደግሞ አመጥተው ወደ ቡሬም ከዚህ በፊት ንብ ከፈላ የሚባል ነገር ስካሁን አይታወቅም አሁን ግን ከቅርብ ጊዜ ወዲ ያው በመንግስት በኩል ማለት በግብርና ባለሙያ ያኩል በስልጣና እየተሰጠ አሁን ንብ ከፈላ ከለምዷልና ለም አሁን ራሴ ንብ ከፍየ በዚያ አመት አሁን ከፍየ አሁን አለችና አንኑ ከፈላ አሁን አዲስ ነው የተጀመረ ነው እና አሁን ድሮ ያው ንግስቷን ያው ይስቶልድ ማለት ብቻ ነበር አሁን ንብ ምትባዛው አሁን ግን አዲስ እንት እንት ተብሎ ንብን በመክፈል በቃ ለምን በመከፈል አሁን አዲስ ገበሬው እየሰለጠነ አሁን እየከፈለ ነው ጥሩ ንብ አሁን ለማባዛት በጣም ንቸገር ነው ካልወለደ ሸቀር አትባዛ አሁን ግን ጥሩ ንብ ከሆነች በመትበዛበት ጊዜ ከሁለቱም ወይም ከሶስቱም መከፈል ይቻላል እና አሁን ጥሩ ንብ አሁን ጅሉን ጅሉን የተው ጥሩ ጥሩ ነው ለማባዛት በጣም ጥሩ ነው ነው ይሄ ከፈላው ራሱ ያም ብራሲ ይፈጣው This short story is an example of a development approach which is based on the commodity value chain. This approach follows an integrated analysis and planning in commodity development, starting from the market and addressing all successive value addition activities or processes such as production, input supply and marketing. A bottleneck anywhere along the value chain impacts the final desired result. In the case of Buri and many other regions in Ethiopia, lack of enough bee colonies, 
or an input supply problem seems to be the one of the key bottlenecks hindering the development of apiculture. The Warrida Office of Agriculture, the farmers of Buri and IPMS took a stab to address this critical need. However, as the case is with any development story, the journey is never finished, as there are always issues that need one's attention to develop any commodity in a sustained environment. Markets, quality and processing come to mind, just to name a few. However, all can be tackled successfully if concerned stakeholders work together on solutions, which, in the end, will benefit them all. Thank you.